One of the biggest moments of the day was the emotional testimony of Charles McMillian, who witnessed some of the earliest moments of George Floyd's arrest last Memorial Day. McMillian broke down on the witness stand sobbing after watching graphic video of Floyd's arrest. He had to huddle outside in the hallway with prosecutors who tried to calm him down, according to our pool reporter. The mood in the courtroom shifted quickly as graphic video of Floyd's arrest played on several screens. Some jurors took notes, others looked away and refused to watch the video. Floyd's youngest brother Rodney was in the courtroom and he also looked down during the video. Chauvin alternated between taking notes and looking up the video of himself on top of Floyd. Another highlight Wednesday was the testimony of 19-year-old Cub Foods cashier Christopher Martin. Martin was the one who took the counterfeit $20 bill from George Floyd the day he died. Martin said he felt disbelief and guilt after seeing Floyd taken away in an ambulance. If I would have just not taken the bill, this could have been avoided. Another powerful moment Wednesday was during the testimony of Lieutenant James Rugel. Prosecutors played several minutes of body cam footage from some of the officers who arrested Floyd. Do you know why we pulled you out of the car? Because you was not listening to anything we told you. Right, I didn't know what was going on. You listen to us and we will tell you what's going on, all right? The jurors have now heard from 12 witnesses for the prosecution. Trial is expected to resume tomorrow at 9 a.m. and more witnesses are expected to take the stand. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.